Hello, this is Doris Sander in my hot craft room waiting for the AC guy to show. And I've already done a craft room tour recently and not so recently. But I had several people want me to go inside my little drawers and bins and baskets. So I think I'll randomly do a few of those. So over here on the almost 13 year old's changing table from when he was a baby. Let's see, in this basket, this basket was from my old scrapbook store before it closed. But anyway, and here we have really mostly old, old stuff. Some rub-ons, stickers, all kinds of random things. Oh, this is some vintage yummy stuff. Oh, so much fun paper. How do you play with that? And then here, these are my alphabets. I keep these. These are um, the colorful ones. They're very colorful. <laughs> and these are the neutral ones. Yep. And then back here is, um, I think these are all paper scraps. Yep. First few are vintage paper scraps. And then just by color, you know, Roy G. Biff. And then down here, this is somewhat embarrassing. These are thickers. These are all thickers. Let me pan back. <laughs> um, but you know, I don't know what to say. It's so embarrassing. But when they, I only let myself have this many. Like this many is not enough. <laughs> so whenever it gets really full like this, like I'll start tossing them on the top, and then when I go to put them away, I'll purge a dozen or so so they fit again oh don't tell anybody about that so let's see what else we have yeah uh, this may have been the most intriguing but it's probably the most disappointing um i mean these are stencils that's not disappointing but <laughs> these are all empty because oh, those are foam stamps i believe in room to grow when I redecorate or reorganize rather um and this is um my paperwork that I try to keep corralled let's see random bits of yumminess here these are fun vintage photos that I got from oops, sorry <laughs> from Jenny Bowling JBS Smoking Fire fun. I should do something with these. Love it. Oh, look at that one. Oh, so cute. Yeah, I definitely need to work with these. See how when you play with your stuff, it like inspires you. Um, and these hot dogs I just clipped out of a magazine recently. I thought I might need those. And then these are all recent die cuts and things. Um, so yeah, I've, I've been making myself shop in my own home for storage items whenever I think I need something. Um, these are my only two recent indiscretions as far as storage goes. Like, like this, I love, I love. And I would like to have more of these, um, but like I said, I'm not letting myself buy storage. But I think when I go back to school shopping this fall, some will accidentally get in my cart. But this is all vintage papers. So pretty. I think I'm making you jealous. I mean, it's not my intention, but this was a requested video. And then on the back, that's all German foil. Sparkly. Ooh. I like when you can see stuff like that. Um, what else? What else? Those are just photos. These drawers just have, um, this is kind of boring too. That's just random clips and things. And in here, this isn't very exciting either. That's um, 
sewing notion stuff. And this is my heat embosser. And this is pretty exciting. This I had when I was a kid, like probably my son's age or younger, 10 or I don't know, 12. These are all stamps that I collected as a child, and I found them recently at my parents and have been using them in my crafting. And then, all right, so that was the pool calling that interrupted us, but I'm back. Um, I don't know if you can handle these boxes. These are reproduction cigar boxes, and they have so many vintage. Ooh, boxes. I don't think they're like that. I mean, unless it's in a pretty frozen bag. Um, these are all full of vintage treats. I don't clean the house either unless I have to. Oh my gosh, so cute. This one is um, not reproduction. It's, it was a reject because it's like from the 70s or something. That's not, wasn't cool at the time that I got it. I mean, look at that ice cream bag. Oh, look at all those ice cream bags. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, Santa Claus. I mean, seriously, that last one. These are little bits, small bits. This is another reproduction. Um, oh, cute. And it was made with dividers. I obviously need to collage more. This, this stuff needs to come to the light more often. Vintage wrapping paper. Oh. Uh, fruit labels. Or maybe not fruit, something. And these are kind of arranged. This this one is more um, letters and numbers, and this one was more images. Makes sense in my mind. And then the other ones are just by size. So I think that's it over here. That's where my trays that I keep my kits in progress on. And then over here in my rascal cart, um, I've gone over this a couple times, but let's see if there's anything we can open. This is cute. This is all the word Betty off of my paper barcode strips. And this, this is just more random ephemera. I don't know. What method there is for that madness. And over here, what do we have? Oh, these bottles. I was in love with fabric brads back in the day. I mean, to tell you. In love. These are really old. This is metal. This is heavy. All that's metal. So, oh, those were, those were, um, what do you call it? Recalled. This is a lead in the pan or something. More fabric brats. What else? Oh, I love these two. These were KI Memories felt. And that's my grandma's button collection. So cute. And this is. Oh, these are all fabric bits. Gentlemen's clothing, vintage again. I made this guy. It's really cute. Fell around a little bit. And this is more fabric bits. I had my friend send me this because she was like into sewing. And I was like, send me the scraps. And then these bins. This is. Goodness knows what's in there. Let's look at a couple of things, shall we? I don't know what that is. Vintage though. And this is cute. This is a container. This is a bird. This is bingo and lottery cards. And that's cute. Those are neat. I like those. 
wood. That's wood. This is stone. I mean, just all kinds of treasures. And this is just um, um, random embellishments. Sort of congregated there and more stamps. And then down here, I love this container. Um, what is it from? The only original woven fabric radio dial belt. Now that's cool right there. Uh, this is all the journaling cards and things. More this. this one I salvaged from Jenny Bowen's trash can. I'm not kidding. All that glue. And this is more tags and things. Bags. Other frames. Some die cuts and doilies. And here this is sequins. More sequins. Even more sequins. I mean, you get the picture. That's little stuff. And then back here, you guys see this. This is pretty. That's um, an old spice rack that I got at Christmas. You know, in the back of Target where they have all those gift items for people you don't know what to buy for. So, I saved all the files. Obviously, it's back here because I don't use that kind of stuff much anymore. And then we have, you know, more of that kind of junk. And let's see if there's anything else you need to see. I don't know. This I just got recently again from the Jenny Bowen's trash can. <laughs> and it's just currently a catch all for random bits. Um, yeah, I think, let's see, this, these little drawers are empty. And I made that pig. Isn't that cute? So, yeah. Um, that's metal, gold and silver, obviously. Yeah. That's wood. That's felt and flowers. <laughs> yeah, so there's vintage flowers up there. And that's my baker's twine. I would show you, but I'd have to get on the table. So, yeah, let me know if there's anything else that, um... I didn't open that you wanted me to, but that's just a quickie little update of what's inside that people ask me for. So, hope you enjoyed it. I'll chat with you soon.